So at this point, I'd like to tell you about three things that are super important in opening up the voice. And if you really focus on these three things, you will be amazed at how your voice opens up. So the first one of these is airflow. So the sound is riding on the breath. If the breath is inconsistent, it's harder to get a consistent sound. So that's when you get, you might find that your voice is cracking or flipping at certain places. The biggest culprit for that is airflow. So if you get the airflow nice and consistent, you'll get a much smoother and more open sound in your singing. So there is the exercise number one is all about working with airflow. The second thing we want to be working on is proper vocal cord closure. So as I mentioned earlier, the vocal cords are inside here. They're in this kind of a V shape. Um, they're a lot smaller, but they're in this general shape. And when we're singing, we want them to be almost closed, but not quite all the way closed. If they're too far apart, you get this more of a breathy sound. All alone and that, that kind of thing. If they're too close together, you get more of a harsh and steely and pressed, strained kind of sound. It's a hard knock life, that kind of thing. And if you're really pushing like that, it can cause all sorts of problems because the vocal cords will rub together. Bad things can happen. So you definitely want to avoid that habit and find this more balanced position. So th these puffy O slides, it's exercise number two, are designed to really help the vocal cords find this perfectly balanced position. When they're balanced like this, then when the air comes through, there's just the perfect amount of resistance and then it can really concentrate the power of the sound and you get a nice, powerful, rich sound. So the third thing we'll be working on is vowel shape. So a lot of people have a tendency, when we talk, we're smiling all the time, our mouths tend to be really wide and often we try to do that when we're singing as well. So, in my mind I'm going to Carolina, sometimes something like that. As you can hear, it makes the sound a lot thinner and not as powerful. But if we center the vowel, we think tall and narrow instead of flat and wide. In my mind, I'm going to Carolina. It has a much richer sound to it. So we're going to be really focusing also on getting tall and narrow with the vowels. It gives a larger space for the sound to come out of as well and it can solve a lot of vocal problems that you might be having.